Hello everybody, welcome to the first episode of a brand new series called Alien Isolation. This is a very scary game, this is why I'm playing it. Um, the only light in my room is, uh, well, my headset, as you can see if I turn around like this, the, the blue LEDs and over here and over here. Um, the screen to my left, which is projecting light this way, and the screen right in front of me, which is projecting light this way. <coughs> as you can tell, it is dark in my room. As you can tell, it is night outside. As you can tell, I don't give a flip. Anyway, so, earlier today, I asked you guys to give me suggestions of what I should play. Ooh, by the way. I should do this now, but I get very nervous, and so I feel vibrations, and they uh, they make me less nervous. Anyway, so I asked you guys to give me suggestions for numbers, number between 1 and 5. What you didn't know is that number between 1 and 5 would determine the difficulty of the game. But I'm going to teach you a lesson, a lesson that is very important when it comes to scary games. I don't care what number you give me. I'm always going to choose the difficulty that I feel is best for the video game playing. So I'm going to choose hard, as the game states that it is the recommended way to experience the game, challenging and terrifying. <sighs> hard will also mean that we get less resources, and that the alien and other survivors, other humans and androids, are harder to avoid. Uh, so this should be fun. And yes, we're going to overwrite save. And we're going to make that barely visible. Right there, Sims. Okay. Let's get it on. Vibrations, love them. In association with 20th Century Fox. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. I'm gonna shut up. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane, Lambert, Parker, Brett, Ash. And Captain Dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. Let's get my foot right astound. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. So, if you haven't figured it out by now, if you haven't, I don't know what to tell you, but if you have, I'll let the game explain it. The game doesn't want me to talk anyway. He's been looking at my phone. I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? <coughs> we don't know. <coughs> the unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Yeah, finally, we're from all the Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me oh. and another exec. And you, if you're willing. <coughs> Uh, 
Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. Mm, case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? Oh, yeah, right there. I've been cleared to offer you a place oh, right on the Torrance the if you want to come along. Sorry, I'm speaking over them. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. Oh. <coughs> so if you didn't understand that, we were talking about the events of the first Aliens movie, uh, where Ellen Ripley blows up her ship because there's a xenomorph on board. Uh, and we're playing as her daughter, Amanda Ripley. And we're now waking up in a habitation pod. By the way, if you don't know why I'm moaning, it's because I have this massaging thing on the back. And woo, we are not uh, dressed. <coughs> we are. <laughs> we are. Uh, we are nicad, as they would say. Lud, as they would say in some places of the world. Um, we are. We are naked. Yes, yes indeed. Anyway, I have this massage thing behind me. And so that's why, uh, that's why uh, I was doing it. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're playing on the hard, which, whoa. War in totality. Uh, get dressed. Like you don't want us to find our clothes. Boom. Lights. Lights. Jesus Christ. Huh. <coughs> ah, places to put items. Yeah, anyway, so. I'm a bad decision maker. And like I said, I've decided to play this entire video game in the dark. Which is fun for you. I've got 14 hours of this to play. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, Verlaine, you want to look out for navigation software? I have a friend that's just lost his ship and he's looking for work. I can vouch for him. He's got good papers. Same old story. The mega cores are going to cut him. Picked up all his, client, uh, his clients' contacts. are getting harder to come by for the smaller companies. I've been thinking of getting out myself if I still have something to sell. Sounds like you're doing okay though. Drop by the docks and here you just shipped out Sevastopol Station. What a shithole. I'm not even surprised that everyone even admits that it's a shithole. Still, I hear Whaling Jutani pays well. Good luck to you. If you can't beat them, right? Let's catch up when you get back. Blame. Aight. So Verlaine has got some male junk, I don't know, God knows what. Uh, shower. Do I want to use it? Do I don't? Do I want to? No. Wasting time. Get on with the stuff. Locker. Get dressed. Good. Who knew we had to go into the locker to get dressed? We must be one of those magicians who can quick change. Ah. Uh, oh, excuse me while I flex my, uh, my non-existent sex life by, uh, recognizing that a girl is texting me. Here, while I'm waiting for her text to pop up on Snapchat, let's uh, search these items and let's save the game. She's taking too long. I'm gonna have to put her text aside, or at least my phone, <coughs> while I play the game. And she stopped texting. God can only know why at this point. Get through, how long have we been going? Nine minutes. Perfect. Right on schedule. Okay. Spooky scary corridor. Not going down that way. Spooky scary corridor. Not going down that way. And uh, that looks like an airlock. Mm, not going that way. Uh, eeny meeny my. I came from that way. Definitely not going that way. Eeny meeny miny going this way. Hmm. Ooh, window. And uh, that's the other guy. 
I mean, I remember seeing it on the laptop, but I don't think I showed it. But his name oh, must be Samuels. Ripley. Samuels? Did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. Why? I why don't you need as much sleep as the rest of us? I'm sorry I'm talking over you, but well why? Maintains. Tell me! I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes. M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've, I've worked engineering the game. jobs on ships like this. I of kicked course. the garbage can and the... Uh, his tap just again. went through. She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. <sighs> Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. We just spoke to Samuels. So let's uh, go now and speak to... Oh. <coughs> I didn't jump because I had to cough. Taylor. Ah. Good morning. Taylor. Ripley, it's certainly not good. And I very much doubt it's morning either. Sorry. I see terminal. I must read. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with You feel like death. Regularly. I'm sick. I you feel like death. I've been sick for two days straight. Very often. Ah, Most people it. execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Raylan Yutani uh, felt the really. need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. Right. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. I'm gonna look at you for the entire Realize time we're done. Your mother has been missing for 15 years and, and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. Okay, we've spoken to Taylor. All personnel to the bridge, approaching Sevastopol Station. Looks like we're up. Can you shut up for one second? Second terminal, let's see. Uh, Nostromo incident. Ah, so this is some information about the Nostromo incident. If you guys haven't watched the first Aliens movie, I'll read it. Uh, hey Taylor, I got your case request. It may take me a while to get the, uh, to dig out the files on the incident. It happened before my time at the company, so I'm a bit fuzzy on the details. Then 2122, the Whale and Yutani cargo vessel, the U USCSS Nostromo went missing. Uh, US probably stands for United States. Who knows? Uh, went missing. Uh, no trace was found of its cargo or crew, apart from a new science officer. The rest of the crew worked together before seven and all. Uh, the Dallas, as mentioned before, Captain, Ash, Science Officer, Kane, or was it Kane, Executive Officer, Ripley, Ellen Ripley, uh, the Warrant Officer, Lambert, the Navigation Officer, Parker, the Chief Engineer, and Brett, the Engineer Technician. I'm not, well, you know what, let me go down to the, say, Torrent Manifest. So if you guys want, if you guys are really like ship nerds, you can read this. I'm going to scroll down very, 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 very slowly. And, uh, apparently Sevastopol is ahead. Ooh, stuff to steal. Well, that got swiped by me. By a moi. Hope you all had a restful journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-Class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. <coughs> Open docking. I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how we doing? SMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep con so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Alrighty. Uh, flex my non-existent life, sex life. Uh, Taylor is looking at a monitor. Space. Well, that's beautiful. Let's head around to the other side of the ship quickly before I grab my documents, because that's what I gotta go grab. By the way, where's Sam? Sam. 
Samuels is over there. He wasn't over there when I was over there. Magic invisible person android. Anyway, space. Final frontier. These are the voyages of a dumbass in space. Collecting his documents. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? <coughs> Looks like damage. Oh, they can see damage. Punch up 74, anyway. tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. screwed I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is the commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol Traffic Control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Yutani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo Chief. Flight Recorder Unit. We Them request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. <laughs> Marshall? Mar Marshall, this is the Torrent. Say again. I so I read something in the uh, in the little comments down below in the uh, subtitles about a serious situation. The station's comms seem pretty screwed up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep I the torrents in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Stop Safe talking trip. all the time. God damn it. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. You're running for seven minutes. <laughs> Just shadow me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. Affirmative? Who says affirmative? You say okay. You say I got it. You say I will follow you. Affirmative is for robots. Are you a robot? I hope not. What the fuck happened here? I actually kind of like Samuels. My god, Ripley. You're doing good, Taylor. <laughs> Just keep moving! <laughs> I'm sorry, Taylor, what? Respond, anybody! I'm sorry, what? Explosion? Stuff? Okay. And now I'm missing our other two crewmates. <coughs> oh. I'm still fucking talking of mucus. I'm still fucking talking of mucus. I'm still talking of mucus. <laughs> Well, that looks painful. Probably won't leave a mark. Okay. God, okay, let's um <coughs> mm, let's change. And again we're jumping in a closet to change, so Ah, okay. Okay, we've been running for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna run until about 25. If you guys want longer videos, do tell me. Save station. Gotta love the save station. You know what? I've changed my mind. 20 minutes is enough. We don't need. We don't need to. We don't need to go any of these ways. 
You know what? We don't. We don't. We really don't. I've saved the game. That's all that matters. That's all that matters, guys. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you liked, hit that like button. If you want to see more and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and do me a favor, but ring that little bell. It's right next to the subscribe button. It's not that hard to find. But thank you, everybody. And um, I'll see all you dudes in the next video. Bye-bye. Not stopped recording. This is not good. Not good.